Hey and howdy everyone, it's Jeannie with Paper Pixie Ink and today we are moving on to tutorial number three for the Once Upon a Time frame card album tutorial series. So stay tuned. So for my cover, I'm just going to keep it simple and follow kind of the same pattern that I used for the envelope album. I don't have another phrase that I can cut apart and use, but I do have all of these other little phrases that I had from, that I had created on Canva. So I'm just going to use one of these that I have left. I think I'm just going to use the Grateful. So I'm just going to take some chipboard and I'm going to cut it roughly to length. And then I'm going to cut a strip off because I don't need it to be this wide. gonna place that down and this will just help give it a little bit of dimension on my cover and I'm just going to place it down just like this And then I'm just going to put a couple of flowers on here like this. And I'm going to let those set. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I am going to take a piece that is cut to just a little shy of seven eighths and I'm going to glue this down and then I will cut it the rest of the way to fit. And then I'm just going to snip to match the angles and then this is going to go on my spine so I'm going to take another piece of chipboard Just like this. I'm going to glue this down. Sorry if you can hear the plane in the background. They're not usually that loud. Alright, now I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to glue this down just like this. Just like this. Okay, so, so I'm going to set this to the side and I am going to grab some of the scraps that I have and I'm going to make some mats and I'm going to make some tags. So I'm going to cut this at one and three quarters and I'm going to just cut off a little bit because I don't want this to be too tall for tags 
And I'm just going to go ahead and do that for a few of these. Just to create a few tags. So I'm going to make a couple of photo mats. So I'm going to cut them down to three and a half by five. going to make some plain white tags. So this is three and three quarters by six and a half ish. So I'm just going to cut these at two. And we'll leave this one at two and a half. I'm going to cut some white cardstock to go with these that I cut for photo mats. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they were three and a half by five. So we need three and three quarters by five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. And three and three quarters. So there's one, two, three. And six. Three and three quarters. By five and a quarter makes seven. So I'm going to cut few more tags and then we'll start compiling these. So the tags aren't going to be backed. We're going to have some pattern paper tags and then we're going to have some plain white tags and then we're going to have some photo mats that are backed on white cardstock. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and make our tags and our photo mats. So the photo mats, we are just going to glue down together just like this, but I think I'm going to use this on the deco side, so on this side here, uh, just to give these a little bit more character, shall we say. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all of them. Um, you can do multiples at a time if you have this tool. You don't have to do this at all. You can just leave them plain. You can use just a plain, you know, corner rounder or you could just cut them all at an angle so you have options if you want to do something a little different um, but again if you don't have any of these tools then you can just 
leave it squared. Okay, so these are just going to be plain white tags. So I'm going to do some in this rounded tag punch and want some in the just angled ones. So now that I have all of those done, I am going to take this reinforced punch from We Are Memory Keepers and I am just going to punch out a bunch of these using, these are just scraps from when I created some of my photo mats. So. Alright, so I'm just going to grab all of these and I'm going to attach all of them just around the holes. So I'm going to grab my liquid glue and I'm only going to put a little bit, just a little bit, and push it down. And I'm going to do that for all of these. Then I'm going to go ahead and glue down my photo mats onto my white cardstock. Alright, so to finish off my tags, I'm just going to grab some ribbon. This is some that I had in my stash. This is from Stampin' Up! It's Blushing Bride. Uh, Blushing Bride Metallic Ribbon. Um, it's from uh, a couple years ago now, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I am on a mission to use my stash this year. So... I'm going to go ahead and cut a bunch um, of pieces that are probably about this long, so about six inches. <laughs> All right, and now I'm just going to take a piece. I'm going to fold it in half, just like this. I'm going to feed it through the hole. I'm going to open up the loop. And I'm just going to tuck the two ends through it and then pull it tight. You don't want to pull it too tight, just tight enough that it's going to stay. And you're going to do that for all of these. All right, so let's finish putting our book together, shall we? So every one of these inside pages our pocket page so we can put an assortment of tags and whatnot in each one.
All right. So I do have some of my little words that I created on Canva, as well as some of my flowers. Um, but for the time being, I think I'm going to mostly leave it as is. I'm not sure how I want to completely finish it, but I'm pretty happy with how it is right now. These are from Stampin' Up. Um, I think they're relatively recent, but no longer available. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I like these little pink ones, and I want to add just a couple around here. So I'm just going to grab my weeding tool and pick some up and place them down. So I might use them throughout, I'm not sure, but for the time being, I think our album is looking pretty good. So that will be the end of the tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial series, and as always, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I will try and link what I can, and if you are interested in seeing more in the future, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks everyone!